Okay, friends, I made some bean soup in my slow cooker today, and I wanted to can it up. So I had a couple, I probably got about two and a half pints or two and a half quarts out of this. But anyway, I got it all ready to can and realized I didn't have any lids. And my local store doesn't have any lids, so I can't be driving to Manistee. So I thought, you know what, I'll just freeze it. And I'll show you a little crafty way to freeze this in single servings. Okay, let's slide this over here because it's pretty full. Okay, I got these cups. These I buy at the, I buy a whole stack of them at Dollar General for a buck a stack. So it doesn't cost you very much. Anyway, this is what I do. Okay, I just fill these like so, and they might get a little messy, but that's all right. Okay, there's one. And then I put these on a tray when I get them all filled up and I set them very carefully in my freezer until they're froze solid. And then I will show you after they're froze solid exactly what I do. And this is so easy to do. Especially in a pinch when you run out of canning lids. And I don't want to put it you know, in a big Ziploc bag or a big container because there might only be one person that wants it. So it was an ideal in pints, but because I have no lids, this is the next best thing. Okay. Look at that's like nearly perfect there. Okay, friends, now that I got them filled, I show you. I'm going to put them in a muffin tin because this will give them a little extra support so they don't tip over in the freezer. Okay. See that? I was going to just put them on a tray, but then I thought, you know, they might just tip over. So I put them in a muffin tin. It'll secure them a little bit more. So when these are froze, I will be back. Okay, friends, I am back and these are froze solid. I left them in there all night. Anyway, so I'm going to show you. It's real easy to take these out, but you will not be able to use this cup again. So it's junk, but look at that. Perfect. Set that right back there. And then I take my Ziploc bag, throw my garbage out in my way. And I just set those in my Ziploc bag. And then you know what? When you take them out, this is a little bit easier. You just cut that and just peel it right off there. Perfect. Look at that. Absolutely. Put them in there. I just slip down the edge. Peel it off. And it comes off real easy. I love doing my soups this way. When I freeze them, I prefer to can my soup because it does um, extend the shelf life a bit longer than the freezer would. But because I was out of my canning lids and I won't have any until I run to Manistee, this is the next best thing. Put that one there works perfect. They peel right off, goes in there. Anyway, I just gotta, I just have to seal this. And it's being a booger at the end there. Maybe. There we go, we got it. Okay, that's how easy it is. Look at that, perfect. So when you want soup for two or just yourself, you can pull one of these out and it makes a perfect bowl of soup. That's an easy freezer tip for freezing your soups. There you have it, friends. Make sure you remember that next time you need to freeze up some soup. That way you don't have to unthaw a whole big batch 
just for a couple of servings. Thanks for watching.